guys look at that one. Yeah. Yeah, testing one, two. Beautiful. All right. This should get me in the shot. That'll be nice and tight. All right. You're the guinea pig, Wally. This is the first one of really? the year. Yeah, Good. this is the first one. Carrockfootball.com.au. It's pre season. Teams are back on track and one of the first to return to training of the three time reigning. Ballerine League Premiers in Queenscliff, their coach Tom Lim, good enough to join us. Limmy, firstly, uh, new season rolls around very quickly, doesn't it? Comes around very quickly, you know, it wasn't that long ago. We're just wrapping up and, and trying to um, savour the moment and now we're starting to look forward to 2014. I suppose looking forward, uh, you look forward without a couple of key players, Dan Gibbs and Dan Measures, that much has been made of their departure to St Joseph's. Was that inevitable you are going to lose some players with the, the Heath Jamison factor? Yeah, I mean, look, we spoke to both Gibbs and Measures, um, and we'll have the agreement that there's the next stage of their development, the next, next stage of their opportunities um, was to go to Joey's. So we encourage them to take that next step. Uh, whether it was in, inevitable, um, I'm not sure, but they both felt like it was the next step. We agreed, um, and we're glad that they went to a club uh, like Joey's where we have that connection. Yeah. I suppose now door opens for somebody else, whether it be youngsters or, or new recruits, to, to step up and fill the void. Absolutely. I mean, that's some of the best opportunities now. I mean, last year we had them during the year, oh, I think seven, eight games during the year. So we got to play a bit of time into some of the, some of the kids. Uh, next year now they get the opportunity to step up even again and hopefully come the end of the year, hopefully we're thereabouts and they get an opportunity to really step up at the right time of the year. Queenscliff obviously struggled junior-wise for you know, the best part of a decade and you know, obviously the, the young fellas were, were struggling in that tough Ballerine under-18 comp, but since grading the under-18s, a little bit of success and, and some kids that you've discovered as well. Yeah, we're really excited at probably the seven or eight that are going to come through uh, for our, from our under-18 side. Uh, we're looking to develop them. It may not be next year, maybe the year after, but there's definitely a group within there that can play senior footy, some senior footy next year. Um, it's up to them what they do over pre-season and whether they take that opportunity. You're right, I mean, in the past, it was always tough without the grading system uh, to get competitive sides out in the park. Uh, but when the grading system come in, you know, we had a Div 3 under-18 side last year, but they were able to make the grand final and, and be competitive throughout, throughout the year. And, you know, that keeps guys in footy and that keeps guys around the town um, playing junior competition, uh, which then allows us to grab onto them when they're, they're out of the under-18s. And you've got a few of those boys training with the Falcons, which is only going to be good for their football as well. Even if they don't make the, the final 50 down at the, at the Falcons, um, they come back probably better footballers. Yeah, I think that's some of the things that we've really worked on uh, off-field is trying to develop our players, and especially our junior kids. Um, so to get you know both Gibbs and Measures in the VFL program, I think it's a credit to the way that we've been able to develop um, some of our players within the senior footy, but now to get some playing Falcons footy, you know, Darcy Gardner to get drafted at number 22 this year, um, and now to have a couple more playing Falcons, if we can continually build that at the club, get guys into the Falcons, get them into the VFL, continually develop them, to show that they maybe don't need to step up in that GFL to develop their footy, uh, I think it's just great. Obviously, only one club before has ever won four in a row in the Ballerine. Ocean Grove did it twice, obviously, yeah. under Brendan McCartney and then, then Mark Neal. Do you have an understanding of the history, that the edge of history that you stand upon? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's always spoken. I was, a, you know, I was a young kid growing up when Ocean Grove were at the end of that, that dynasty, I, I suppose, where they won eight in, uh, I think, even nine out of 12 or, or something, you know, incredible. Um, Hopefully, you know, hopefully we're there about to get next year and we'll, we'll worry about that if we get the opportunity. But, yeah, I mean, you look back at that, those times in Ocean Grove and, you know, they had a really successful era and, and you know, we've got a fair bit to do to, to compare ourselves to that. Recruiting-wise, uh, any names you can give for us that uh, you may have a attracted to the club? Oh, look, at the moment we don't. Um, uh, I think, as we said, our focus is on those seven or eight that are coming through from our under-18s. Uh, we're in chats with, with one or two, but, you know, this time of year you, you never know until... Um, uh, until the season comes sometimes. So we'll continue to work with that one or two. We think, we feel that we just maybe need that one or two to really complement the list and, and move forward, um, as well as developing our young kids coming through. So as well, other than Gibbs and Measures, no other departures of real note? No, not a, no, not that, um, that anyone's advised. Um, so far, everyone else has accounted for. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, Brad Ridings is up in Melbourne. Um, so it was a bit of a concern 
there, what he was going to do. Um, but just speaking with him during the week, you know, he's excited about keeping his weekend job for another year and, and we'll be down again. So Fantastic. The challenges, where do they come from? Obviously, dry. What we do. Look, we similar colors. Thank you for that. Now let's hope the bastards will hear.